Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Let's Play. This is the first time any of you guys have heard my voice, and I'm gonna start a very old, a very new game. Um, this is my second time recording this, same exact thing, so, because I fucked up on something, um, it was stupid, but it'll work this time. <laughs> so yeah, first time you guys have heard my voice, hopefully I don't get hate about it, my voice, I don't know. I want to warn you guys, there's very, very, very long... Once upon a time, uh, cutscene at the beginning of this game. It'll be kind of annoying until we get through it, but this first episode is going to be kind of annoying. It's going to be mainly, mainly me explaining things. So, yeah. Um, first thing I want to ask is that you guys leave some criticism or constructive criticism in the comments below. Tell me what I should change, if I should change anything, what I should do. Like I said, I'm a beginner at this, so... Yeah, and by the way, it's not a blind let's play because I've played this game, or I've beaten this game like three times before. <laughs> um, so yeah, leave me comments on if I should skip cutscenes, talk through cutscenes, let cutscenes play by themselves. Um, I don't really think that you guys would mind me talking through the cutscenes because um, most of them it's animals talking, so it's just mumbling. So you have to read the subtitles on your own. I'm sorry if you can't read, but most people can. Um, what else? Oh, I want to talk about my account, or oh, well, I'm going to try to 100% this, um, yeah, I'm going to 100% this in this let's play, as long as people like it and I don't get bored of it, which I probably won't, because it's such a new, or it's such a fun game, I don't know, and that's, I don't have any achievements, because, or, well, I don't think I have any achievements, I can't really remember, I might have a couple, but, what happened was that my old account, Hand Sanitizer, it got banned because Microsoft said that I committed fraud and theft from the marketplace, which is kind of, which is untrue, but my theory for what happened is that they found out about a little glitch that me and Alien Penguin were doing. I don't know if it would even be considered a glitch. Oh yeah, but here we're finally playing, <laughs> and when you jump, ground shakes. But a glitch that we were doing in order to get the map packs for um, for Black Ops, so I think that was it, which is kind of stupid. It pissed me off, so I, lo I had to start this new account. There's probably only I don't think there's that many videos of my actual hand sanitizer account because I mainly started this YouTube channel or I started this YouTube channel a little bit after um, I made the or I, I, a little bit before I made this new account. Um, oh, also tell me if I should appear offline, or go offline while recording these so that the blah 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 appears or has come online. Stuff like that doesn't show up if that's annoying. I don't know. Uh, I'd assume that it'd kind of get annoying. Maybe it'd block out something. So hopefully it doesn't do anything like that this time around. Um... Let's see. But yeah, just constructive criticism. Don't be a troll. My basic asks for you guys. And um, enjoy the let's play, I guess. <laughs> oh, here, one more, one more thing I want to talk about. Yeah, I realize this is kind of a little kid's game. But honestly, it's so... It's really creative and imaginative and new. You don't see many games like this. So, I would, if I would recommend going and picking it up 
It's only twenty dollars. If you want to buy it on Xbox, you can get it on Games on Demand for twenty dollars. Install it to your hard drive and play it. But if you go to a store, twenty dollars will buy you a um, a case that comes with this game and a game called Viva Pinata. I don't know, not the greatest game there is, but uh, it's still two games instead of just one. And I, I guess if you get bored, you could play that instead. Oh yeah, and also I know this um, little thing at the beginning, not that hard. If um, you guys need this for help, just do what I do. Because, uh, like I said, I've played this quite a few times. Um, yeah, the beginning's really long and arduous and annoying. I'm sorry. Like I said, tell me if you want me to skip the cutscenes. Fast forward through them, whatever you want me to do. Tell me, tell me about all of the settings, like volume, video, everything. Just a anything that bothers you, tell me. I'll read all the comments, I promise. Um, and if you, if you need help with something, just send me a message and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. Um, like I said, I'm pretty good at this game, but I think that if you really need help on something, just go on YouTube and look up a tutorial for that specific video. Don't just like try to go through all my Let's Plays, because I'm most likely just going to title them LP. Banjo Kazooie LP Episode One. I'm not gonna say like, oh, um, missions or challenge one through three or anything like that. So yeah, um, just send me a message if you need specific or like help with something specific and you can't really find a video about it or things like that. Also, if um, you have any cool suggest or if you have any suggestions for me, make sure that you tell me about them too. Also, <laughs> about right now what's going on. God, that sucks. I wanted that oh, badass car. Now I'm stuck with this little trolley. So, yeah. That's pretty much what I can think of right now. And if you're wondering about if the cutscene's over yet, no, it is definitely not over yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it won't be over for a little bit. Yeah, it won't be over for a while. Long, long, long cutscene. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if you have any ideas, tell them to me. Leave. Remember, use the comments. That's why the comments are there. Leave. Leave some. If you have a major problem, if you think that this is just a waste of time, tell me too. I'll look into it and see if I should stop. Which I'd be kind of sad because I'm, I'm probably going to enjoy this. But yeah, if this turns out to be a failure, just tell me and I'll end it. Now I'm starting to be a pessimist. Oh, I'll um, talk about I'll talk about one more thing that I just thought of. A YouTube user by the name of Swordsman75. He's one of my favorite commentators on YouTube at this point. He, um, him and his fiance Athena do a podcast, and recent or their most recent podcast of when I'm recording this, they came or Athena came up with an idea that would basically help smaller YouTube channels like mine. Um, so that's the reason why I'm recording this earlier than I was planning to. I was planning to do this over the weekend. Um, so like on Friday or Saturday, oh and by the way, this is on the 16th of November. Um, so yeah, I was planning to do it like on the 18th, 19th, or 20th. But I decided that since they put out that offer, I wanted to take advantage of it because it's a really, really cool, nice offer. And uh, I wanted to um, try to give them some, or give them a channel to start off with, because I don't know if that many people have actually um, put uh, submitted their channels to them, or Athena, whoever is managing it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, if you if you want a cool commentator, go check out Swordsman75. He's awesome. That's coming straight from me. He's really cool. 
Um, let's see, what else? Oh, about, about games, I guess. Um, I do not have Skyrim, Assassin's Creed, or, um, what's the other one that came out? Saints Row the Third. But I'm looking to, I'm, I really want to borrow Skyrim. It looks fun. I tried Oblivion. I don't, I honestly did not really like it. But I'm going to embrace Skyrim with open arms to see if it's any good. And if it turns out to be good, I'm, and while I'm borrowing it, I might put out some videos on that. Um, Saints Row the Third. I'm probably going to either borrow that or pick that up when um, it goes on sale. And uh, Assassin's Creed, I'm probably not even going to borrow it, honestly, because I played it Brotherhood, I liked it, but it's not on the top of my list list for right now. So, yeah, that's uh, it. I'll, I'll go through all the items that we, you get in this um, uh, crate really quick. There, that's all of them. Um... Oh, one thing I want to mention is that I'm not going to go for any of the crates right now because as you see they all have numbers. I like to be organized so I'm going to make a list. I don't have one made because I wasn't that organized when I decided to start this. I'm going to make a list with all the numbers and every time I collect one I cross out the number and um, it'll just help me be more organized and it'll help me 100% the game like I said I, won't, I wanted to. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it for things I wanted to discuss. Uh, this is the tutorial for the garage. I'm just going to skip it because I've probably played this tutorial three times. I'm pretty good at this game at this point. So, yeah. Um, I think we're finally going to be able to start right about now. I'm glad I was able to get done talking about everything. Um get done talking about everything before we were actually able to start. Um, remember, leave ideas of things for me to talk about in the comments. I'm really stressing that because I'm running out of ideas already and I don't know if it'll be boring or not, boring or not, um, boring or not, just like playing, just playing this and talking about the gameplay. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, can't really think of anything else, so I guess I'll just talk about the gameplay at this point. So, where we're at now, the first long cutscene is over, and I'm glad about that, because honestly, the cutscene, the first beginning cutscene in this game is ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now going, panning through the showdown town little area. I'm probably gonna, I'm just gonna collect the notes in this general area just to get them out of my way. So now we are going to go to the top of the log box mountain or whatever it's called. Uh, and a log box 720 is the map. But yeah. You go around here to the right through the third tunnel. I don't know what you'd really call that. And uh, up the trail. Also, I can't remember if I already dis discussed this before, but I, I realize this is kind of a little kid's game, but I, I, I enjoy it. I think that's what matters, and I think you guys will too. It's really creative and different. I don't I haven't really seen many games like this. So yeah. It really it lets you express uh creativity, I guess. That'd be a good way to put it. Now grab the ball and drive down the slope. Later, when I get more upgrades for this vehicle, we'll be able to drive up that. We won't have to go in the back every single time, because I, I realize that'll get annoying and boring. So, now the door's open. There's another cutscene. I'll just skip it. Basically, all the doors just, well, all the doors lit up. 
this is world one so the last thing I'll do before I end it well I shouldn't say the last thing I'll do before I end it but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna do the very first mission it won't take that long and so there will and yeah we'll see how it goes also if I don't get a TT trophy I'm Probably just gonna get. I'm probably just gonna um, go through each challenge and at least get a jiggy, so that I can have it available in the TT trophy shop thing. And oh, I probably should have let that play. Dang it! Oh, um, in the TT trophy area, and um, oh, it's, it's lagging a little bit. And if I don't get the trophy, I'll just replay it when I have better vehicles. And yeah, that's just how I do it, I guess. Also, I'm gonna do the grinding and finding all the sound pieces off camera, most likely. If I decide to do that, because that's kind of annoying. But probably the most I'll do in this Let's Play is get try to get all the jiggies, complete every mission, get all, all the vehicle parts, all the crates, everything, and get all the TT trophies. But I don't think I'm going to go for every single note, because that'll get really, really arduous for me. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's do this mission, very first mission of the game. Over the hill is a bridge. So, yeah. Go up here. Grab this. There we go. I got a TT trophy. And, yeah. If I had a faster vehicle, he could. You could do this challenge fast. 15 seconds maybe. That'd be that'd be pretty awesome. I think. So yeah, right now Log is telling me that he's impressed. I feel touched. He's never that nice to me. This is probably what also if um one other thing, if you have played this game before or I'll go over it in a different episode. There's um, a place called the Testo Track, and that's where you test vehicles that you make. If you guys don't know what you do in this game, one of the biggest things is making vehicles, which is the creativity side and imaginative side that I've told you guys about. That, um, you can test your vehicles in this Testo Track arena, which you'll see next episode. But tell me if you've played this game already, if you want me to test it in the Testo Track arena. Or if, well, if I need to test a vehicle uh, in the Tesla Trek arena or in a certain world. I, most of the time I like testing my vehicles in the world we're just in, but it might get kind of, that might be kind of stupid to some people, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyways, I think we're done with episode one for my Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Pulse Let's Play. So... Um, remember, my name is Monster 97 Thanks for watching episode one of the Banjo Kazooie Let's Play. I will talk to you guys later. <sighs> Goodbye.